In this video, I will continue the demonstration on how to set up an advanced query. In the previous video, I reviewed how to create an advanced query using the query manager and the plus sign that are associated with each field to build my selection criteria. Now we will look at a second way to create the query using query manager. Let's go into Enterprise One and continue our exploration of advanced queries using the customer service inquiry program. Again, I will access customer service inquiry from my favorites and open the query manager. As a quick refresher, I can create a query using the plus signs to add fields to my selection criteria. To add fields this way, I need to scroll through the grid and find each of the fields that I need. This can take quite some time depending on what I'm looking for. Let's look at another way to build my selection criteria. First, I will close the Query Manager without saving and then reopen it. This will clear my selection criteria. Another method that can be used is to open the Query Manager and click on the Additional Field Selection. This will open a list of available fields to be used in my selection criteria. This list shows all the fields with plus signs and a few more to help me out. What's really helpful is that these fields are listed alphabetically. So I don't have to search the grid wondering where all the fields that I need are located. As you can see, all I need to do is scroll down the list and find the fields that I want to use, such as order type, sold to customer number, and next status. Once they have been selected and added to my selection criteria, all I need to do is enter the right operand values. So, so customer 4242 with a next status. Another area that, has not, that we have not discussed is the comparison field between the left and right operands. When I click on the field to add it to my selection criteria, the comparison field usually defaults with equal. But depending on the field selected, there are many other options. Let's take a look. If I click on the drop down for order type, I see 13 options. Next status has the same. However, sold to customer number has only eight. Most of the options are the same as what can be done using the QBE line. But there are some that are only available using the query manager, such as between and list is blank is not blank. Let's go to sold to customer number and use in list Now we can add a second customer. Again, I can click on the find button within the query manager to run the query. Allows me, this allows me to ensure that it is working as expected before I save it. Let's save it. And the name I'm going to give it is customer 42. 4275 next 540 now when we look in the data at the data in the grid we should see customer 4242 there's some customer 4275 so the data has both both of the customers if I wanted to search for two customers using the QBE line, I would have to do the search one customer at a time. This is some of the power that advanced queries give me over the QBE line. 
Another thing I can do is save a new query based on an existing query. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go back here. Let's clear our queries. I'll go back into the query manager, inquire on existing queries. And let's pick up the one we just did. And now I can click on the save as icon, enter a new name, save as. I can save that. Now I can make changes to the selection criteria as needed. Let's see, I'll get rid of that and we'll save it. I can also delete a query by inquiring on it and then clicking the delete icon. So we have this one here. If I click on delete, it's now no longer available as a query. This was a quick review of additional methods and features of setting up an advanced query.